let's get started so we'll hopefully we'll finish module 3 in uh, today's lecture uh, so looked at conversion between different types of models in uh, in this module uh, for the most part we've you know just dealt with uh, uh, CISO systems and so there was a question yesterday uh, how about MIMO okay so let's look at let's say we'll just look at the state space model so you have x k plus 1 equal to a x k plus b u k y k equal to c x k okay so here x in general we will say it is an n dimensional vector okay. So n we will call this as the order of the system. Okay. This is how you have. So, for example, in blending problem, there were three inputs, two outputs. Okay, there might be n number of uh, states. That states are internal states of the system. That is all that information that is required in order to uh, predict the dynamics of that particular system. That's what uh, number of states are. Uh, number of inputs and outputs are something that gets fixed with respect to the problem definition. So when you define a particular problem, when you say that these are the things that I am interested in controlling, those become your control variables, those become your y, uh, these are the things that I can manipulate in order to achieve my control objectives, those become your manipulated variables or u. Okay. Uh, now nothing in the state space model or uh, for that matter any other model except uh, transfer functions uh, had anything specific to do with whether it is a CISO system or a MIMO system. Okay. Uh, in general, most of the things are uh, pretty much MIMO, okay. pretty much except the uh, transfer function part. Okay. Now, so let us say how we converted this into transfer function. The way we converted this into transfer function was uh, taken as Z transform of this and when we take a Z transform of this, you have GZ is going to be C multiplied by z i minus a inverse b okay a is an n by n matrix i is an n by n matrix so this inverse is an n cross n b is n cross n u c is n y cross n so the result of this this gz although we had not explicitly said the result of this is going to be gz is going to be an ny cross nu matrix okay so our gz will be of the form g11 g12 and so on up to g okay so g11 g12 up to g1 n u okay g21 g22 and so on up to g2 n u g n y1 g n y2 to g n y comma n u this is how your transfer function matrix is going to look like okay let's think about the reverse direction let's say you had 
uh, transfer functions and then you needed to uh, get another type of uh, type of a model this is something that you have done in your assignment right. So let us say you had a transfer function of the form so g is given as g11, g12, g21, g22. Okay. So, how do you want to, how do you convert this into let us say state space form if you wanted to convert. You already done step response form, hopefully the step response form was not was not too difficult if we have questions we can we can take that take that up also but let us say you wanted to convert this into a state space form okay how will you convert how will you convert this into a state space form okay let us look at g11 z itself okay yesterday we talked about using a controllable canonical form Once you use a controllable canonical form, you will get a model in terms of x k plus 1 equal to a x k plus b u k. Okay. Now and y k equal to c x k. Okay. Let us actually give subscripts because we are going to do it independently for 1 1 1 2 2 1 2 2 okay. So let us give subscripts let you know because it is g 1 1 let us just call it as x 1 1 let us call this a 1 1 b 1 1 uh, well sorry it would not be y 1 let us call it c 1 1 a 1 1 okay. okay. Now what does g11 represent g11 represents a transfer function from y1 to sorry from u1 to y1 okay so we will put u1 over here and we will put y1 over here okay we actually need to put u11 and y11 but that's that's a separate thing why because uh, y of z so y1 of z is g11 z u1 z plus g 1 2 z u 2 z okay that is how how it is gonna be right. So let us put this as y 1 1 itself okay likewise we will do this for g 1 2 g 2 1 and g 2 2 okay and we will get this in terms of x 1 2 k plus 1 equal to right hand side x 2 1 k plus 1 equal to right hand side x 2 2 k plus 1 equal to right hand side okay. We will now define our overall x we will define it in this way okay. Again keep in mind that the choice of state is really up to you as long as you define it as one uh, column vector you are completely fine whichever way you define. You can define it as x11, x12, x21, x22, you can define it as x22, x11, x12, x21, you can define it as x12, x21, x11, x22 anything you want you can absolutely mix and, mix and match in any any way that you choose it is not a problem as long as you are reasonable at linear algebra and you are able to do uh, you know the manipulations. Uh, Let us say x11 was uh, two, dim two, uh, two dimensional vector x12 was two dimensional x21 was two dimensional x22 was two dimensional you can even mix and match first guy of each of them second guy of each of them that is also perfectly okay there is absolutely no restrictions on 
how you define your x as long as you define it consistently okay having said that it is always a better idea to define x to go in this manner okay so that is why g11 g12 g21 g22 why just for consistency no other reason so that when you look at your problem in this course and you look at your problem in let us say a follow up course uh, you know you, your notations and all that you do not have to rethink about everything all over again okay. So that is the notation that we are consistently going to follow. So now how is the overall state space model going to be written the overall state space model is going to be written in as x k plus 1 equal to axk plus buk okay let me try something over here i have never tried this before so let's say how let's see how this works okay what that means is i want my let me just substitute what x k plus 1 is going to be x k plus 1 is going to be nothing but x 1 1 k plus 1 x 1 2 k plus 1 x 2 1 k plus 1 k plus 1 okay going to be something okay so what's your first row in your a matrix going to be what's the first guy x11 is dash multiplied by x1 x11k plus 1 is dash multiplied by x11k a11 plus dash multiplied by x12k 0 0 0 okay what is the size of this 0? How many number of rows and how many number of columns does it have? Will be of the same size as A11? Not necessarily. It Yeah, it is same size as A12, that is true. But what will be the size of A12? It depends on the transfer function that is between that y and x. So, let me put it out there. The number of rows is going to be equal to the size of a11 the number of columns will be equal to the size of a12 okay because that 0 is going to multiply with x12 so the number of columns has to be equal to the size of x12 but it will result in a vector of size x11 okay so the number of rows will be equal to the size of x11 the number of columns will be equal to size of x12 okay that is what the size of 0 is okay it is not too difficult but you really need to pay attention to this this is one of the places where one could make an error okay. Now what is it what is it that is going to multiply with u in order to get x11 okay we will have to write uk also in some form right that is the kind of tricky part when we are talking about uh, transfer function to state space for MIMO system 
and that has got nothing to do with the problems with state space or with step response models, no those are straightforward MIMO in general, it is the transfer function that is the problem that is the CSO guy, okay. So what is the first guy? So there are going to be two blanks, right? What is the first blank going to be? It is B11 multiplied by UK1 and 0 multiplied by UK2. Okay. I should actually write a small b over here because uh, you know it is a scalar u1 and u2s are scalars right. x12 in the same manner you are going to get 0 a12 0 0 okay. and x12 is between y11 and u2. So, we will have this as 0 multiplied by and b12. The third guy is going to be 0, 0, a21, 0 and b210, 0, 0, 0, 0, a22, 0, b22. And likewise, So, y1 is c1 multiplied by x11 okay, plus c2 or c11 multiplied by x11 plus c21 c12 multiplied by x12 plus 0 multiplied by x21 plus 0 multiplied by x22 and y2 is that becomes your MIMO state space. Okay. 